Okay, let's look at some ways that we can add text to and take text out of a file. As mentioned before, there's two modes. Mode in which we can add text to the file, the other mode in which we move around. First way we'll look at how we can add text is the little i. Little i means insert. You can see that at the bottom of the screen it says insert. And then I can just start typing. This is new text. And we finish or conclude inserting with the escape key. So we hit the escape key, and then we're able to move around in our file again. If I ever want to undo something I've just done, is the little u. Now, the other way to add text, or another way really, is to append. So let's say we go to the end of this word. I use the little e, and I click, and I hit the A button. So A moved my cursor over one because I'm appending. And I add my text. And once again, I escape this mode, or get out of this mode. Good, good word. Escape it with escape. So you hit the escape key. Cursor jumps back. So that's insert and append. We leave both of those um, entry methods with the escape key. So I'll undo that text. Another way we can add text is the little o. Little o will open up a line below the one that we're on. So there's little o. Is some new text. So little o opens up below, and capital O opens up above. And once again, each time I've hit escape to get me out of that mode, and now the U. Now if I want to type something continuously and say over type uh, or just clobber whatever's there, I hit a capital R, and we see down at the bottom there's a replace mode that it tells me I'm in. So this is new text. Again, escape. So I'm back again in that mode where I can move around my text in my, in my file. Undo with a little U. Now capital R writes over whatever text is there for as long as I type. The little r is special. It has an implied escape in it, and here's what that means. So if I put my cursor over the 4 and I hit the little r, I can then hit 8. I'll change that to an 8. Now I don't have to hit escape. I can go up my file or down my file without any other changes. So it's as if I went into an insert or replace mode, replaced it, and hit escape. But since there's only one character, I don't have to hit escape again, so I can change it back to 4 by hitting the little r and the 4, and I'm done. So that's the little replace mode. And in each case, except for the little r, we get out of that mode with the escape key. Now another way to add or add text to a file is, is to yank and put. This is like cut and paste. So y, y, little y, little y, yanks a line. And if we hit P, the little p, it means to put. So whatever's in the yank buffer just got put down. And if I said 4P, as we've seen before, it simply does what I told it to do, which is to put four times. And if we did 10YY, it means to yank 10 lines. And if I put them with a little p, I see that all replicated. So yank, put. If I want to delete text, the little x <coughs> kills a character. So x, 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 that's little x. Just destroys or wipes out the characters underneath your cursor. A really handy um, editing method is change word. So cw, little cw. This is new text. Notice that it moves the line over so that whatever I type in is fit in in the space or in replacement of the old word that was there without over typing what was there previously. So if I use capital R, this is new to, I'm overwriting what was there before, but sometimes I just want to replace the word CD or CW and just say supply and then undo. If I want to delete a word, I can say DW. DW, 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 I delete words. 
and put them back. If I want to delete an entire line, it's DD. Just little DD. DD, DD, DD. Undo, 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 undo. If I want to destroy 20 lines, 20 DD. Gone. And back again. I can join a line. Let's say I'm here. And I want to bring the line with ADC7 up to where it says IO Allocation. I just say capital J. And I can join the line. Take my cursor to the end. I can hit capital J again. I keep joining lines. Sometimes that's a handy feature. If I want to go back and redo what I said undo, it's control R. Control R goes back and redoes what I just did a minute ago. And then I can even undo the redo. So there's some several ways we can uh, add and delete text easily from our file.